This clip is brought to you by BattleOnline.com. No doubt, Mal. Before we exit out there, we usually ask people like five word, five name word association, a little hip hop word association. So I'll ask you five names, and you know, you just give the first things that come to mind or any experiences on the people. So number one, we've got Mr. Magic. Oh, wow. A lot of things, man. Yeah, a lot of things. That was a two brother, you know. We, we really, literally rode the wave together, man. You know, <clears throat> all but coast to coast, definitely the Gulf Coast. So that's another brother that I was near and dear to. I miss my brother much love and respect. But a million stories, man. We'll have to open up a chapter on uh, magic, man. Uh, crazy thing. We mentioned our smoke I drank earlier. And uh, initially, it was so I aim to be on that record. And me and Magic left the studio about four or five in the morning. So leaving the home on the third verse when we first did it. It's just us. And we were taking it in, in our shows and leak it on the crowd. And every time we left the show, they say, next week y'all sold the Slim Punk. Um, I had met Slim face to face once in life. Uh, no limit for citizens out here in Baton Rouge. Because as you know, right quick. But <clears throat> the time passed by. And we coming out the studio working on an album together, man. Magic Wars at the time. So we didn't get to finish. There's a few records around. I'm going to see what I can get my hands on. I'm probably be looking at the public, hopefully. It benefits with my man. You know, and, and, and so far, but <clears throat> we coming out the studio. He said, man, you know what? I'm going to put some on that rock. I said, yeah, man. That's who you put on the rock. for the third verse. That would have been the first. So the Slim, the Matic, and Bleed Rock. It's going to be beautiful. Call me some people. I'm going to New Orleans in the morning. Go to the party. I said, you call me. Tell me who do it. I want to be somewhere that next day. Uh, anywhere between two and four that afternoon with a phone call. It's just a day time. Uh, it was mad. That's how I get up to that. So I got a hot TV. I got the job. I said, man, y'all did it. You know where it's at. I said, man, you know what I'm Murdered that fast. That's when they go out with Sam. I wasn't going on to our world. He had no idea. Maddie was coming to Baton Rouge from back to New Orleans. So that's, a, that's, you know, one of the deepest magic stories, you know, off the grid. But, you know, we got a million here to uh, Florida, man. So we have a little respect. The rest of the time, heaven to keep our blood hard work. Yeah, no doubt, man. Rest in peace. Um, we've also got next up, Roy Jones Jr. Yeah. You hear what I said? All the way to Florida. We shout out to the big brother, Roy Jones, man. He told out there, man. So, uh, yeah, a lot of us, Magic actually uh, put me and Roy together all the way. You know what I'm saying? Because that was his man for a long time. Like, you hear rumors that Roy wanted to meet me. My stepfather, his favorite fighter at, at, at Raw time was Raw. You see what I'm saying? I'm from the Mike Tyson time, and now I started getting into Raw. I told my coach, I said, hey man, look at this boy, Raw Jones Jr. He on your ass. You know what I mean? From that, I watched it, you know, for a long time. No idea I'd meet him in life. It's funny how something happened. But, uh, you know, he's another near and dear one. Nothing but love, crazy love. Threw me out there a million times to the best of life of New York. So, um, him and his kids, uh, his family, you know, he's invited to the house, one closing project. You know, everybody can't come to the house, that kind of thing. So, yeah, but love to Roy as well. Always the champ, yeah. Always will be better like me. All right, cheers, man. Cheers to that. Next up, we got another. That was just um, NBA young boy. Um, I want to say we some indirect family <clears> on <throat> um, my first kid's mother. You know what I mean? She related to them. You know, all them. So I'm cool with a lot of the family. I went to high school with his mother. You know, we knew each other real young, but I hadn't saw, you know, so much. You know, I don't want, I can't really get into it. That real in the field. You yeah. know, and I was pretty, so it been efforts that people that tried to put us together initially. 
it should have happened. You know what I mean? We'd have been close to Ron and just had never initially met each other. But I'm aware, you know, I am. We are B R G A N G S D E R. Yeah. That's how the um, NBA and this is the crazy evolution and so on so far. But, you know, yeah, it's outstanding. It's all uh, line of hip hop, but the hip hop part of it and where the music they move to them. Again, non existence at one point, all was non existence. Uh, next up, we got Max Mamelli. Oh, yeah, you know what I mean. He was the baby boy, yeah, you know what I mean. Um, like I said, I gave you a quick briefing of uh, me and Max. I just talked to Max maybe a few weeks ago. Had all the in and out over the years, big brother, big brother shit. It's always love on mama, you know what I mean? My mother, his mother, rest in peace. So on so forth. So we go way back to sleeping in the ice and gold, you know, across the hill with the Irwin Bill, you know, where we deal with the stay at the Tria, you know, through my first plane, you know, different things like that. And just from 19 to 20 years old, you know, as far as flight. I'm a guy scared of heights, just something like that. So it's a lot of evolution with Max. You know, uh, it's a crazy way uh, we kick the hand and glove almost just due to our evolution. And me and Turk Bill, you know, uh, not necessarily nobody to be like me, but I wanted to see, I was just got to think like this. I'm the kid. Some people got to play a hate no secret. Mine, mine, it's all about me. But I'm looking at who younger than me gonna be able to do the same shit I was doing. You know what I'm saying? I had nine days. I got sons and grandsons. You know what I mean? So I always been a team. You know, like I said, I didn't start off the degree and the love of money for the pop and you know, the culture, the love of music, the spirit to have to survive. That struck me when it opened my eyes to wow, this is my life. It was kind of open as a double door. I never look back, so even certain people you see and feel that in, he was one of the kind of one that that was the kind of that. But I know he did. So he so good. Got all kinds of that. So it's so right. And lastly, before you know, to wind us off, we got a southern hip hop legend, Scarface, Mr. Mr. Scarface. Ah, oh, man, big bro. That's big bro right there. Ah. Um, same kind of man, it's funny things. You know, you'd be surprised who know each other. You know, name of the gang, six degrees of separation. You ain't what you know is who you know. Me and Face, you know, we done met a few times and talked a few times. He's one of my favorites. To me, the Godfather rap for the whole South. You see what I'm saying? He talks rap, rap mafia bosses and dumb, and lyrical. Yeah, yeah, Face. Well, where that that crown since the eighties for me for that and it's a you know and I don't say that to say nothing but just ah uh, man just keeping that whole um sticking to his script all these years man you know what I mean just you know a lot come to mind and that's like next door neighbor to Texas so I'm a face diehard fan since the Ghetto Boys you see what I'm saying so the first Mr. Scarface you know what I mean the South Side of Houston picture in front of the apartment picture not for sale record so. You know, I can start with that and go chapters and stones when uh bar for bar, pound for pound for life with faith, man. So far as the south and being one of those spillers, you hear what I say since the eighties, when we wasn't being recognized. It wasn't for rap a lot, the ghetto boys or Luke Skywalker and the true life too. You know, true spitters, you know what I mean, the essence of the world are all corners from not being nobody but what's to get bad. So yeah, my head always go off the face. Um, you know, when you talk face, but you know, as we talk in Houston, but we can go north Texas and talk to DOC and that's a whole nother part two chapter we we'll have to get into. You feel what I'm saying, my brother? So you know, my, you know, but for the greatest spitters as far as the South, as solo rappers from that time, before we get into outcasts and you know what I mean? It's a whole yeah. nother. We eleven states down we start, here. We start opening different chambers, but you know I got. 
But yeah. we definitely appreciate you tapping in, um, answering the fan questions and stuff and taking time, you know, to yeah. join us. We encourage everybody to definitely go out and check out your new material and to stay abreast on the, what was the website again you said for um for the label? Trapdoorent.com, man. All day. There we go. Trapdoorent.com. So um we definitely appreciate it. your boy Fonzie represents Batonline.com. Salute, support, and we'll be back soon. Peace. Peace, family. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and check us out on aboutthatonline.com. Don't forget to check us out on Facebook for exclusive playlists and social media for all different types of segments and content.